outside, well, it's we cold. got some snow, still cold, more seasonable now. Absolutely. Even below normal in terms of our temperatures, it's a chilly start to our morning, so make sure you have the winter jacket still handy. Radar and satellite showing clearing skies across the metro area, mostly cloudy skies in our mountains and west, but this is the view right now near Sterling. Bright blue skies and cold on the plains. We're only in the teens. Vale Village, the sun trying to peek out through the clouds, but we're under mostly cloudy skies. We do have the slight chance for a few light snow showers in spots like Vale and Aspen. A little bit later on this afternoon, we're not talking much in the way of real measurable accumulation, but a couple of inches are possible up to about four at higher elevations. It is nice to see some snow on the ground. This is taking a look from our tower cam at Spear and Lincoln. And as you can see, Cherry Creek Res uh, River rather is looking okay right now. In terms of our snowpack, we're still above normal, but we could definitely use more moisture, so it was great to see the past couple of days with that rain and snow. Downtown, though, 21 degrees, 20 out at the airport. Winds are calm. The wind chill as you get further to the west into the foothills, really chilly, so these are our temperatures outside right now. In Boulder, 18 degrees, only in the single digits in Netherland, and then across the northeastern plains, we're looking at low 20s. Things will warm up as we head into the afternoon, but only into the mid to upper 30s across much of the metro area still in the teens in Elizabeth and Littleton. This is what it looks like on our 24 hour planner by noon. We're only in the mid to upper 30s, a mix of sun and clouds. Normally we should be at around 49 for our daytime high today. We'll be about 10 degrees below that. Overnight skies will clear. We'll drop back into the teens, so it's going to be a chilly couple of days before things start to ramp back up in terms of our temperatures by the end of next week. But highs for today, 39 out of the DU area, Littleton and Highlands Ranch, same. Also in the Montclair neighborhood, we're looking at the upper 30s. Into the mountains, we'll see 20s, 30s, and then spots like Aurora only at 34. So a cool day and then high temperatures statewide. We have that chance for a few mountain snow showers light at that and 28 in Eagle, 20 in Steamboat. So these temperatures below normal for this time of the year. Grand Junction, slight chance for a few rain sprinkles and snow flurries and then Northeastern Plains Sterling only at 34 with warmer conditions down to the southeast. This is what our future cast looks like by 3, 4 o'clock. As you can see, some widespread snow showers in and around our northern central mountains down to the south. We're not talking about much in the way of a accumulation will be under a clear sky here in the metro area and then starting early tomorrow morning we're looking at mostly clear skies still a chance for a few light snow showers but for the most part the big bulk of moisture we're tracking this next storm system that's expected to impact us greatly come Monday into Tuesday so that brings us the chance for a few light snow showers come Tuesday better chance for seeing more measurable precipitation down to the southeast of Denver but tonight 15 is our overnight low and by tomorrow morning it'll be a chilly one once again but 40 is our expected high mostly sunny skies and then by Monday clouds will increase ahead of that storm system Tuesday light snow expected that's our first alert weather day 37 is our expected high and then as you can see temperatures gradually ramp back up 40s 50s then 60s are back on our seven day come Friday so warm up is in store but cool for the weekend yeah we could still use a little more snow I, I actually was happy to see it me too we here need on the it. plains we, and we still have a month a few months of winter heavy snow that could come so we'll keep an eye